I'm Jackie. And this is Mochi. He is four months old and I felt like I might have a little information to help future pure puppy owners. Uh, didn't see a lot online with the really young pups, so I wanted to share some kind of the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I'm not an expert by any means and everyone has to find out what works for them. Uh, I'm often still trying to figure that out. Mochi and I are learning together. Uh, my son-in-law does great with him and has been helping me along the way. And he and my daughter actually own Mochi, but I'm his daycare provider. First of all, it seems that hardcore peer breeders say you shouldn't buy a pup that's under 12 weeks of age. Uh, seems like a lot of them are sold at eight to 10 weeks of age. But in Mochi's case, the breeder was about four and a half hours away the kids were planning to get him at nine or 10 weeks, but the breeder was passing through the area just before he turned eight weeks. So everyone decided it made sense to get the baby early, right? Who wouldn't want one of those adorable little polar bear cubs as early as possible? Well, he was absolutely adorable and wonderful, um, but in hindsight, I think they would have waited the extra week or two um, these early weeks are exhausting, and I think another week or two would have helped shorten the difficult puppy weeks. Um, having the additional time with his mom and his litter mates would not have impacted the bonding with his new family. Um, so if you have the option to wait until the pup is nine weeks or older, uh, I would highly recommend it. Um... But uh, right now, Mochi, again, he's four months old, and he must be pushing 60 pounds right now. Uh, he's been through one round of puppy class, and he's just been, he's been a real joy. We just love him. But there are some tips and tricks that I just thought I'd pass along because, boy, the early days are... A challenge. Um, oh, they do love being outside in the cooler weather. Um, it's mid morning right now, or and uh, much as I should be getting him into his crate right now, he just loves being out in the cool weather. As you can see, he prefers the cool stone to any kind of bed or towel. I try, but. They really like the cold weather, so once summer hits uh, full force, I think he's going to be in a lot. Yeah, he's a good boy. Here's Mochi eating. I usually feed him in his crate uh, because it seems to contain a lot of the food better. He's been dropping food all over the house since day one. It gets stuck up in his jowls, and he will randomly spit out a piece that's been up there for a few minutes. And we find a lot of food all over the floor. He does seem to be getting better, but we think if he ever got lost in the woods, he'd have enough food to last him a week. He loves his pacifier. Almost. Yeah, you're kind of big for it, aren't you? Yeah. Wish we had a bigger one. Pretty soon, it's going to be too little. I made Mochi some sodium-free chicken broth ice cubes with little tiny pieces of chicken and cheese in the middle. And they're fun to take outside and he's always looking for something to cool himself down with. Empty peanut butter jars with the label removed hold his attention for a little while. Mochi loves helping bring in the mail. 
but he also likes to destroy it. He will help you open packages. And he will aerate your lawn in a matter of seconds. Mochi is super playful. And <laughs> yes, you like your squeakies, don't ya? He got a new squeaky ball today. He's very excited. Oh boy. We have a 50 foot leash for him. I don't have a fenced area for him when he's at my house, so I have a 50 foot leash though. And it's about an inch wide and it works great. Sometimes I can even drop it like I am now and just let him run. He stays close, so I don't get too worried. Okay, toys. I had been warned away from any chew toys except Nyla Bone, Yak Milk, Chews, or Kong. If you have a pup that loves these, great. Mochi has limited interest in most of these things. We gave him a Yak Milk Chew when he was much younger and we bought one for under 35 pounds. And I thought he was making headway on it and then realized he was just getting a lot bigger and eventually had to take it away because it was getting too small and dangerous for him. Uh, he really went for the bully sticks, so we decided we'd give them to him on a limited basis. He's been getting more time with them now. We give him big ones and he hasn't been breaking off chunks and swallowing them. They smell really bad. They come from part of the bull anatomy you won't want to know about, but he just loves them. And it just got to the point where I felt I had to make the best of the worst, worst choices. I do recommend that when you're trying to make your way through all the choices, filter in the critical comments. Don't just read all the good comments about the different toys. Filter in the critical ones and just make the best choice you can. Any of those chew toys, if they're small enough and the dogs swallow a big piece of them, it's not gonna be good. A little more about toys. The blue pacifier is a squeaky vinyl $2 toy from Walmart, which has been among the most popular. There was another plastic toy I had gotten, but it was more of a hard plastic, and he immediately started uh, chewing chunks off it, so we threw that out. But I don't play tug of war too much with that pacifier and he just loves it but it's really getting way too small for him i just haven't had the heart to take it away yet the purple ball it's soft and collapsible and he loves to pick that up the nyla bone key ring he doesn't like it's not flavored this rope ball has been pretty popular i never would have chosen it but a neighbor gave it to him and it's been really great it's easy for him to pick up and Really anything that's a ball is popular. The yak chews uh, until they fall on concrete or tile and break. They seem to be really good. Squeaky tug toy, stuffed animal. And then a little plug for food puzzles, which has always been a big thing to me for their mental stimulation for any dog. And this particular one was $20 from Chewy. And it has four different compartments, each with a different function. A lot of the puzzles have four compartments, but there are only two functions between the four of them. And that's kind of repetitive, but this has four different activities. And he enjoys that every so often. We just 
you have to put it under the water and give it a rinse or a wash, uh, you know, because it gets all slobbery, but it's very washable. If he picks up a piece and runs off with it, it hasn't broken. Again, the Nylabone keys he doesn't like, but it was a Nylabone chicken flavored chew that he's chewing on earlier in the video and he just loved that. So it's a lot of trial and error with toys, but most of these, except for the key ring, um, all these others have been really popular choices. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Mochi is now eight months old. He has continued obedience training, both with classes and just at home. And he has been a fantastic watchdog. He developed an amazing bark when he was about four months old. And he, he does bark uh, in videos, all I heard was that they bark and bark and bark. And he does bark to alert us to something that he thinks might be a problem. But I've encountered much more annoying uh, breeds of dogs. So I don't know, you know, what other peers do. But he really hasn't been an issue uh, with barking for us. He's already proven himself to be gentle with the elderly and with children. Mochi loves to make friends with anybody he can, whether they're human, dog, he just wants to be everybody's friend. We worked really hard to socialize him. He's a regular visitor at Ace Hardware. They absolutely love him there. He doesn't get nearly into as much trouble uh he's calmed down like he doesn't try to bang down the door when somebody goes in the bathroom and he doesn't pull the towel off the kitchen rack every time he walks by it he does like to chew but i think that's slowing down as well he still loves new toys uh he's now getting three and four inch diameter tennis balls the others, the standard ones are too small. He does drool a lot, but I'm told they don't all. But I, I don't know about that. And I think he's well on his way to being a great family dog. Thank you for watching. And keep watching for another minute for just a few cute puppy videos. Bye now. Don't you? <laughs> oh my God. Did you get your food everywhere? Yeah, there's you. Get you. Where is he? Good boy. <laughs>